to involve the remnant people of God in the general ruin that is coming upon the earth. As the coming of Christ draws nigh, he will be more determined and decisive in his efforts to overthrow them. Men and women will arise professing to have new light or some new revelation whose tendency is to unsettle faith in the old landmarks. Their doctrines will not bear the test of God's word, yet souls will be deceived. And why would souls be deceived? Why? Because we're not studying. We're not studying. We're not studying for ourselves. False reports will be circulated, and some will be taken in this snare. They will believe these rumors and in their turn will repeat them, and thus a link will be formed connecting them with the arch deceiver. This spirit will not always be manifested in an open defiance of the messages that God sends, but a settled unbelief is expressed in many ways. Every false statement that is made feeds and strengthens this unbelief, and through this means, many souls will be balanced in the wrong direction. We cannot be too watchful against every form of error, for Satan is constantly seeking to draw men from the truth. Okay, brethren, I will stop here for this week, and I will pick up um, next week with the remainder. And it, we will start from importance of personal devotion, which is very vital for us, right? Because personal devotion strengthens us when we come here and it strengthens us for the world so that we can, we can be strong against the evil powers out there. And I pray that this reading will, you can go and read um, it yourselves. It's chapter 63 of um, Councils for the Church. Also, if there is anyone who would like to say something based on the reading or have a question, you can do so now. Anyone? No? So we all understood. It was clear cut. Awesome. Amen. Thanks be to God. All right. So let us end with prayer. Father, we give thee thanks, O God, for this counsel. We give thee thanks, mighty God, for the words that was uttered just now, for our admonition, for us, dear God, to be on the right path. So, God, we have no excuse, O oh Lord, no excuse whatsoever. So, Lord, help us individually, dear God, to feast upon these readings, to feast upon your word, dear Lord, so that our lives, our character will be right with you and fit for you, dear God. Lord, help us to be among the five wise virgins who had oil and extra oil. Thank you, dear God. Thank you for this preparation. Thank you, Father, for the 